Hello! Welcome back to my channel. If you are an oldie but goldie, come on in and get comfortable. If you are new, my name is Louise Pentland and I make videos about motherhood and lifestyle and today I'm talking about creativity. One of my goals for 2020 was to do more creative things and I wanted to check in one month in. How on earth is it the end of January already? I literally blinked and it's the end of January. Last week was Christmas and now it's February. I don't know how that's happened, but I'm quite glad because January is one of those months, isn't it, that, you know, not much happens. So February, looking forward to that. Um, but I wanted to talk to you about some of the things I've done this month that have been really crafty and I've felt really good about, and I feel like my creative buzz is a little bit back again. Now, all of the things I've done, there's three with a few little bonus things at the end because I couldn't resist, are really easy things and things that you guys could very easily do um, and also I have a whopping discount code for you in this so keep watching and enjoy. So I don't know about you but I'm feeling 22, I'm not 22, god I am not 22, I'm 34, I don't know about you, don't sing the song, but I have a phone full of photos, in fact I'm going to tell you right now at the time of filming how many photos I have it's actually, okay, <laughs> quite a few. <laughs> I have, uh, and let me know what your number is because this will be interesting, I feel almost embarrassing. I have 29,534 photos in my recent albums and then I have loads of albums on here like uh, Pearl, Darcy, Corfu, Disney, like loads of different albums but in, in toto I have 29,000 photos on my phone. I love taking pictures, I love documenting a moment, I find it a really creative thing to do, I like framing it up and getting it just right and I really love it but then they live on my phone and no one sees them except me and then the few that I share on Instagram. So Bonus Print got in touch and asked me if I wanted to work with them to show you all their photo books and I was like yes <laughs> because I need to do something with these photos that are on my phone. I want to share them with my family, I want to enjoy them. So I'm going to show you some of the photo books that I have created. Extra nugget of factoid for you. When Bonus Print got in touch I was like I'm sure I am sure that I have worked with them before or I've used them before, I know that name and when I looked into it I realised that it was my dad that used to use them when I was a lot younger because my dad was a photographer so he had stacks and stacks and stacks of these envelopes full of pictures and they all used to say bonus print on them so it was a nice little blast in the past, I was like oh good, I'm glad that company is still going and that they're going strong and it's nice to like have a part of them in my life now when they were such a big part of my childhood. That's not to do with the video but I thought you'd enjoy the little nugget. Right, January is the perfect time to make photo books because you've got a whole year's worth of photos from last year that I bet it's just sat on your phone. It's a bit grey and dreary outside, it's not fun to go out and do much, we're not doing much in the evenings, so it's a great time to go through your laptop or your phone or wherever you keep your photos and, and you know, swizz through and decide what you want to put into a book. I'm going to show you, I have made two books, so this is the first book I created and this is just a little book from our year. I went through my phone and I favourited a whole bunch of photos, moved them to, into an album and then airdropped them onto my laptop and I just put them all in one album. I really like that there's so much variety, I've got a bit of everyone, there's some that you might have seen, like you might have seen some of those photos on Instagram, but then there's some that are just family photos like when I found out my friend Claire was pregnant and let's see, let's see, um, nice one of me and Liam just there and I really love that I can look through it, it's so glossy and it smells so good. I feel like this is a really, really high quality photo book. All the pictures are from my phone and I did wonder if they would look a bit, you know, like fuzzy when they're all blown up to a bigger size but they don't, they look really crisp, really nice. Yeah, I am really, really happy with this. So this one has us on the front and then nothing on the back, but then this one, which is my big one, is from our trip to Corfu. This was the view from our villa, isn't this sensational? And then on the back, I just put another photo and I really like that there's lots of different options for things because if you don't want any photos on the front, you don't have to. Can you believe? 
that that is an iPhone photo and it looks so good. They've got options so that if you wanted to have lay flat books you can. So if you had a photo that was like going across the like what's this bit called the seam the middle bit of the book it would look beautiful because you can have that lay flat options all different layouts I'll do some overlay footage rather than trying to hold it up for you they have all different backgrounds and different clip arts and different covers and all kinds of different options you can completely customize it or you can use the smart assistant tool which is what I did now I really liked the smart assistant tool because what you do is you just put in all your photos and then what it does is it lays them all out for you and if you like the layout you just move on to the next page and if you want to change it you can drag and drop and it's really really simple and I find too many options a bit too much I know some people like when my dad makes photo books he loves to spend days and days on them and, and makes it all how he wants it whereas I just want a lovely photo book and I feel like this is I like that you've still got control and you can still make it how you like but it kind of for me at least, took away the like, ah, I don't know which ones to choose. And it made the process quite speedy. And I'm a busy mum of two. I want speed. I just want a really nice photo book. So I really liked that about it. And then at the end, I realized that you could have multiple of the books. So I actually ordered a couple of these teeny tiny ones of our trip to Corfu. And I gave one to Judith and she was so pleased with it. Where's that? Oh, that was fabulous. It's it's Cassiope, the villa. Yes. And look at that. Is that for me? Yeah, that's yours, oh, your little copy. You. Oh, I've got a bigger version, yeah, but I've got you a little mini day. one to keep. Oh, uh, look. Oh, it's such a fabulous time. In my tree. <gasps> it's Mummy. It's Mummy. And there's Dixie and Pearly. Yeah, wow. Yes. Do you like it? I love it. I love it. This is perfect. Oh Thank you. Oh, you're That's welcome. Such a lovely gift. Oh, all those memories. It melted my heart to see her be so happy, and now I love that all those photos that I took on our family holiday. She's got them at home. They make really nice little gifts, and it's kind of a bit of a bonus because you're actually giving yourself a gift and then it's really easy just to be like oh well, I'll just have another one you've not got to do anything different to this it's the same and then it's just a really really cute very personal little gifty so what's that what's that you say it's my next creative thing and that is I have been making jewelry yes that's right I've been making little beaded jewelry it's all in here I'll just do some close-up shots so it's easier for you to see um, when I graduated from university many, 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 <laughs> many moons ago, I took a course in beading. Now, whenever I tell people this, I think it's really funny. It was a 36 week evening course in beading. I really loved it. I've always loved arts and crafts. My mum, um, before she passed away, she ran a craft fair business where she would make her own craft, she did flower pressing, but also she would run the craft fair and like book all the other stalls. So I've grown up around a crafty person and all those kind of events. So I love, love, love just making little things with my hands and I'm a bit of a magpie. I love things that are shiny and pretty. And I found that in the evenings I would go and sit with Liam and we would watch a show or we would chat and I would be fiddling around with things like fiddling with the cushions or fiddling with my phone. And I thought, you know what, I'm going to put that energy to good use and I'm going to try and remember some of my bead making skills that I had back in the day when I was 21. Um, and I've absolutely loved it. Ordered all the beads online, so much easier now because back when I was starting you had to actually go to bead shops which are few and far between let me tell you. I've been from, I've been to all sorts, I've been to one in Liverpool, I've been to one in St Ives, I love them. Um, and I just sit there every evening and it takes me about one evening, so about an hour because we generally watch like an hour long program to bead one earring and then I do the other one the next night and make a little pair. I can do bracelets. Um, I've tried lots of different things that haven't necessarily worked and they're in my rejects pile, but I enjoy doing it anyway. I just enjoy the satisfaction of seeing something go from just a bare piece of, it's called Nymo thread, bare piece of thread into something. Um, they make lovely little gifts for people as well. Some of my family I've given them to in little folded origami boxes. That's like a bonus thing I've been making, just little origami boxes. And it just gives me like a great sense of joy to do this. And not everything has to be perfect and not everything has to be made for a reason sometimes just making something for the joy of making it is the reason and I found that 
when I go to bed, I feel really um, like a lot calmer because my brain has been focused on that for an hour rather than like worrying because I'm a, I'm a worrier, I overthink things, but I've found that by doing this, I'm not doing that as much and I sleep better and I just really like it. So I would encourage all of you to, to bead because <laughs> it's nice and they're pretty. Um, and if you would like, I, I like it's so not in keeping with my channel, but if you would just like a full video on how I make these earrings, let me know and I'll perhaps put it on Unlisted or something like that and just send the link to the people that want it because they're really nice, I love it. The third thing that I have been creating this month has been a photo prop chair. So you know the house that I'm renovating at the moment that was my grandparents, I found an old chair that they left there, a wooden chair that was white and had loads of detail on the wood and like a star print on the seat but it just needed a lot of TLC, it needed a really good clean and a paint. So that's exactly what I did, scrubbed it all down, got all the yuck off it, and then all automatically it looked so much better, but I was like, no, I can Louisify this. Painted it all pink, added all kinds of really gorgeous embellishments on, I added um, ribbons and pom-pom trim and a string of pearls, and then I had these vintage crystal bead necklaces, I love beads, <laughs> um, and I draped those over the sides and then I put it on a fluffy rug and I brought up some balloons and I wanted to take some of Pearl's birthday pictures on there, um, but I know that I'll use this for lots of other photo props as well because I love taking photos. So I had her number two balloons and I dressed her in this gorgeous little like vintage although it wasn't vintage, but like little woolen uh, like romper and I just love it so much and I love the photos so much and it was nice to take something that's a chair obviously and turn it into something else so although it's still a chair Pearl sat on it we're not going to put it like on our table or I'm not going to sit on it mostly because I'm scared that it's quite old um but I just love it as a piece like a decorative piece wouldn't normally tie ribbons on a chair or drape necklaces on um but I really loved just having the freedom to be like this is just a fun thing I don't need to turn this into a functional piece of our house and I was like you know what does it matter because this is just a lovely thing that I'm making just for myself and if it doesn't work out no matter because I haven't spent any money on it and it's not a big deal and my grandparents didn't want it anyway so it was really nice to have that creative freedom just by doing these three things creating a photo book and creating the little earrings and upcycling a piece of furniture and creating a photo prop has really just given me the buzz back for it I think it's a bit like once you get back on the bike you remember how to do it and now I'm starting to look at things in like a whole new light. For example, when I go outside, if I'm like having a walk, I'm looking at all the stuff on the floor thinking what could I make with it because I went to the Cotswolds and a friend had made this incredible centrepiece out of like feathers and sticks and stuff and I was like I want to make that and I um, saw on Instagram that someone had painted a load of glasses for their wedding and now I have bought some glass paint and I've been collecting cut glass from um, charity shops and I'm going to give that a go and I've been making little origami boxes and teaching Darcy how to do it and then tie them up with string and I just I, it's really it's like feeding my soul and making me feel so well and I'm really, really enjoying it. So this is definitely something that I'm going to be carrying on for the year. If you would like like regular updates on the things I've been making, let me know. And biggest and best thing, Bonus Print are offering 50% off for a limited time using the code LOUISE50. I will put the details below for you, but get on that because these are so nice. And not only are they a nice thing for you to make for yourself, they make for really good gifts, so definitely, definitely something worth trying there. Alrighty, I feel like I'm very buzzy and very excited right now. I hope that that video has inspired you to make something. I would love to know, one, how many photos you have on your phone, and two, what you like making and if you'll be making some beautiful photo books or jewellery or upcycling your furniture. Alrighty, thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having really good weeks and I will see you on Sunday. Bye. And biggest and best thing, bonus. Ah!